up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys today we're taking on level five of the roulette of truth and Idar is a very interesting boss very very similar to argo but there are a few differences which we'll go over in a moment um, if we come down to lineup you can see that the real deal is a recommended team comp and if we compare my team to druids and caleb's um, I feel that my team is more budget friendly. Um, you know, he's a, they're both at 240, where we're at 239 and 225. They've also got some hyper evolutions going on. Plus, in general, their heroes are more evolved than mine. Um, and we've also got two non Triple uh, S heroes. Um, you can see that everyone is using Serena because she's a real boss bitch. Um, yeah, she is insane for this game, like the amount of healing, not just for this boss as well, but all content. She is a great carry, so definitely make sure you invest in her. So let's uh, have a look at um, Idar's skills. So Quartet Break, the user launches four attacks at a very fast speed with each attack prioritizing targets that have not yet been hit. Um, units that are hit repeatedly will take heavy damage. So this isn't like just constantly going off. But if someone dies in the team, it means that they're gonna he's gonna do more damage to you. So you, that's why we need to try and keep everyone alive. Crazed Stone Spirit. When HP reaches 75, 50, 25, um, summons two crazed stone spirits that inflict damage to all enemies on the battlefield. You can kill them, um, and that's why you need assassins, because they will sort of teleport around, pop off, and then just uh drop the stone spirits before they can do uh too much damage to us. Now, battle form, this is probably the most important skill to take note of. Received non-crit damage is reduced by 50%, while received crit damage is increased by 200%. So crit rate is essential here. We need as much crit rate on our um, on our assassins. The more crit rate we have, the more damage we're going to do. You know, that is massively going to bump up our damage by 200%. And if you don't crit, it's going to reduce by 50%. Uh, battle realm so this is exactly the same as argo units outside the realm in, uh, inflict 99 percent less damage to the boss so some really tasty gear up for grabs um surge this is great for anpu but anyone that does aoe damage um you know it's going to increase your damage by 30 percent plus we're getting that 15 percent attack as well great gear set um realm no brainer this is great for summoners um, so the burst set is going to increase our true damage that for um, heroes that stand further away from the enemy. Um, a great example would be Taylor Swift. So Taylor, you know, he's always jumping back. Um, you know, he can't keep Tony the Tiger down. And yeah, he'll be jumping back and he'll be inflicting way more true damage. So burst is a great gear set on him. Also good on Ravenar as well. And Abundant, again, another no-brainer. This is great for anyone that heals like Serena. So abundant, great gear set. So we've got um, Orthan as our tank. We've got three assassins, um, Rakana, uh, Corexia, and Samuel. And then Serena as our healer. Um, Hagradon, uh, Hagradon as our commander. And he's a great option. He's going to give us survivability for all of our assassins. Uh, when you get further into the game and, you know, they're a bit more tanky, you can swap out Hagradon for um, Gabel. So Gabel, 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 um, he's going to buff our assassins. Then we've got Prying Eyes, which is going to, you know, increase the, um, the attack that our assassins do. Then we've got Company of Heroes, which is going to give Orthan survivability, but also help him do some um, true damage as well. No, sorry inflict bonus damage uh, and then flashpoint is just a great um prototype for any healer so here we go boys let's smash idar so rakana coming in in the lead uh, spoiler alert samuel is gonna do like he's definitely gonna be the lead on here he does some insane damage even out damages um Coraxia. And she is completely replaceable. 
um, a bit, not a big mistake, but maybe a minor mistake I've done is that I should have tried to pick up a triple S assassin when I was summoning on those special events. So yeah, that would have been a way, way better option. But um, Rakana is getting work done. Great, great um, assassin. I did sleep on Rakana. Don't sleep on Rakana. Rakana is a great hero. I actually prefer Rakana to uh, Randall. I don't feel like Randall is nowhere near as good as Rakana. Um, yeah, from the testing that I've done at the moment, he just... Randall, he looks sick. I love his little cutscene animation, but he just does no damage. Like, Rakana easily, in the same gear, out damages him by, like, 50%. Like, 50... Yeah, he's doing, like, 50% more damage. Um, so, you know, um, Randall will probably be, like, 15 mil right now. There's just no comparison. I mean, Samuel was popping off right there. Um, but yeah, Corexia has definitely popped in the lead again. And this is going to be a nice, comfortable five man. Um, I've definitely had some bad RNG here where someone has died and we've sort of come down to the last while and we've had to three man it around the 25% mark. So it looks like we're still going to have. Um, Four, four men standing for the final hurdle. And we're almost there. It's not a very, very fast team. Um, but you know what? It's good enough to get that W. And like I said, we're doing this on a budget. And we pick up some really tasty gear. So let's come out of this and look at all the builds. So we'll start off with Orthan. So only level 239. Triple Vigoria set. We're looking for HP. We're looking for damage reduction. Accuracy is nice on him as well. Um, but accuracy is not going to help you with the bosses. It's not really needed. It's just more for... He like sort of pulls everyone together. And it's great for AoE damage. Also great for arena. Um, so gloves. We've got um, 50, um, HP percentage. HP percentage on the helm. And damage reduction on the boots. Plus 20 on the exclusive maxed almost maxed out on the talents and then next on the list is serena so um she was at yeah 226 sorry 226 so they're all at 226 um we're in abundance set and we just want hp damage reduction uh, we've got hp on the gloves hp on the helm and then defense on the boots. Would prefer um, HP, but it is what it is. Um, 232k HP, 3.8k defense, and then 11% damage reduction. Exclusive at plus 14. I definitely should bump that up. And in fact, while we're here, we will do that. But you can see like quite deep into her talents. And let's, yeah, let's just bump this up because she is definitely worthy of the runes. Yeah, okay. We get it, guys. We get it. Let, let me uh, move on. And Rakana. Um, yeah, I don't know. He just looks terrible. Um, he's definitely... He is a very, very strong hero. But yeah, he needs like a skin a skin rework. So we've got him in uh, Marauder's, Marauder's um, set. Um, and then we're looking for crit rate. We're looking for attack. We're looking for crit damage. Got crit damage on the gloves, attack percentage on the helm, and then attack percentage on the boots. 20k attack, 65% crit rate, and then 65% crit damage. Um, exclusive, very, very low. Um, you know, only at plus four. I am sort of leaning towards that I might buff this up a little bit because I really like Rakana. He is pretty sick. Come down. Um, so can still put some more into his talents, but yeah maxed out um pve talents randall like just ah oh, just no love for this guy i love that animation but um yeah just he's just not doing it for me and then we got samuel um who in some ways he looks so cool like this animation just wait for it when he, he gets this giant sword yeah and he just starts like swip uh like swiping and stuff with it but um, he is a very strange looking hero, though. 
again in a Marauder set as well. You know, just like all assassins, crit rate, crit damage, attack speed. We do have a crit rate on the gloves, attack percentage on the helm, and then attack percentage on the boots. Later on in the game, when I get some more crit rate, I will definitely swap those out for crit damage gloves because you get more stats. Uh, 14k attack, 68% crit rate, and 51% crit damage. Only plus 10 on the exclusive, and then only at level 4 for his talents. And then last but not least, Coraxia, who's only epic plus 1. And the game's crashed. All right, guys, be back in a sec. I swear to God, guys, if this didn't crash every single time that I'm making a video, it wouldn't be right. Um, I'm definitely going to have to feed this back to the devs because it is redonkulous. Like, literally almost every video I make that I'm getting a crash in LD player. Uh, but anyway, so, yeah, Coraxia. Um, let's look at the gear. So, again, Marauder set and Sun Signet for that crit rate. And, again, just the same as always crit rate uh, sorry yeah we're looking for crit rate crit damage and attack percentage uh, 18k attack 36 percent crit rate very very low on the crit rate maybe i should actually swap this out for some crit rate gloves um and then 76 percent crit damage so she's actually doing some pretty good um damage considering that she does not have the crit rate i don't know if we've got the gear to replace it so it's yeah main stat we want that crit rate and we do have some gloves they're just pretty terrible do we have no so we don't really have another option yeah let's uh let's swap these out let's boost this i'm sure this will like massively increase her damage like huge huge damage increase 72% crit rate and 16% crit damage. Hmm. Yeah, I will test it out behind the scenes. Maybe I'll keep it, maybe I won't. But um, you know, 16% is very, very low crit damage. So maybe, maybe it's not the right way to go. Maybe I can try and pick up some uh crit damage elsewhere. Exclusive only plus three. Um talents, you know, we're only at level two. Just want to look at her awakening as well. Don't is she awakened? is she awakened yeah so we do have one plus awakening on her as well and i just want to click on to just see the difference so the difference is if you see here she's sort of looking to the left and then when you upgrade her she looks forward so by looking forward and she's using six of her eyes instead of three she gets plus 15 hp plus 15 attack and plus 15 defense which totally makes sense you know um if i look like that to someone um you know i'm pretty weak but if i face them on i become like 10 times stronger so it definitely makes sense to me well that is pretty much the end of the video guys thank you so much for watching and i hope this helps you guys get uh, being able to beat ida and get to level five uh, please leave me a cheeky thumbs up make sure you smash that smash that subscribe and i'll see you all in a video soon peace